I've just got an urgent call. One of our Hitachi cooling and heating fitters is in a nursery repairing one of our systems, and the O3 alarm has gone off. Imagine those little kids getting frozen. Quick, let's lend them a hand. Hi, I'm Max Snappy, and I'm here to help you. First, we need to study the possible causes. Then, we need to see the tools that we need to solve the problem. And then we solve the problem. The O3 alarm on a Hitachi system is more common than you may think. So, stay calm. If the O3 alarm goes off, there could be four reasons. One, a power failure between both the indoor unit and the outdoor unit. Two, a problem with the communication wire between the indoor unit and the outdoor unit. Three, a wrong setting of the dip switch of the indoor unit or the outdoor unit. And four, the circuit board of the indoor unit and the outdoor unit may be burnt out. Before we check the causes, it's important to have the following tools on hand to save time and unnecessary trips to the van. So you'll need a multimeter, star screwdriver, a pair of gloves, a headlamp, and of course, a mobile phone to carry on watching the video. First, let's check if there is a fault with the voltage of the indoor unit. The easiest way to make sure that the indoor unit has power supply is to check whether the control can be turned on or not. If it can't be turned on, it's just probably because you've forgotten to connect the power supply to the indoor unit. If that is the case, you just simply switch your power on and that's it, you solve the problem. Simple. The same goes for the outdoor unit. To check whether or not it has power supply, we use a multimeter like this one. And we'll check for voltage at different points. As you can see, there is no voltage, which sets off the O3 code. Now remember, before we proceed, we cut off electricity completely. To check the communication wire, we release it from one of the two points of the indoor unit and unite the two ends, like this. And now we're going to disconnect the wire from the outdoor unit and check it. To do this, we disconnect the wire from the other end. Using a multimeter, we check if there is any continuity. If it beeps, it means that the communication is fine. If it doesn't beep, it means that the communication between the outdoor unit and the indoor unit has a cut. Another possible reason for triggering the O3 alarm could be a communication setting fault between the indoor unit and the outdoor unit. If the cycle of the indoor unit and the outdoor unit does not match, we have a communication problem, which triggers the O3 code. In order to deactivate the O3 code, the cycle of the indoor unit and the outdoor unit has to be the same. The final cause, and probably the most important one for triggering the O3 code, it's a problem with the circuit board. As we've seen so far, the first thing we did was to rule out any power supply issues. But if we have voltage and the LEDs don't turn on, it's probably that the board is damaged. And the only solution is to replace it. Guys, it's been a pleasure to lend a hand. We've solved it effectively, quickly, and safely. And those kids are no longer gonna catch a cold in the nursery facilities. Our fellow feeder have solved the problem. And as you know, on our YouTube channel, you can find other solutions to other types of problems. And if you have any queries, you can always contact our call center. Greetings to you all, fellow feeders. And remember, be professional and enjoy your work.